Hi everyone, it's me, Skelton, with another episode of a very Richmond vlog. I'm here in Monroe Park, in the heart of Richmond, and this is sort of a very special place because in 1959, this is where my parents, uh, after my dad took my mother out on a date, this is where he proposed to my mother. And this is also the park where I got the uh, inspiration for the song Sweet Tea. Yes, so Sweet Tea, I was riding my bike through this very park, and um, I was riding along and the song Sweet Tea came to me. So up here, as you can see, is a very nice statue, one of the most beautiful statues in the park. And this is named after uh, Wickham, who is a soldier and a patron and a friend, uh, presented to the city of Richmond uh, by comrades in the Confederate Army and the employees of the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway Company. Um, so as you can see, we're surrounded by these uh, apartment buildings and around here there's the uh, sacred uh, Catholic Church, sacred Catholic Church part of the cathedral. And you can see down there is the Altria Theater that used to be called the mosque. So as we walk along the park, um, there are a lot of interesting sights to see. Okay, right behind me is a piece of history. This is, uh, this is a famous fountain. And back in 1970, they had a rock concert here. This was years before I was born. And a, a young teenager climbed upon that, uh, that pedestal right there and shook it and it collapsed on him and he was killed. So you can see the kind of degeneracy that's been in this park for years, but uh, they've really cleaned it up. They've got rid of a lot of the riffraff, and now it's a beautiful park. So this this is a very famous fountain, if you want to see it, right here in Monroe Park, and I highly recommend it. Uh, and it's really nice to come out here. If you want to come out here for a picnic or you know, like a box lunch picnic, it would be a really nice idea uh, to come along and bring a picnic lunch uh, and sit out here and enjoy fountain. So that's the story behind that. So here is this, uh, there's this neat gazebo that was added by the school. Now a long time ago, or maybe seasonally, they put an upright piano right in this area where I was tempted to play it, but I could not find it. As you can see, the gazebo is really neat. Uh, it would be neat to have a little show here. I would love to do a show in this place. The acoustics are probably pretty good too. So right here in this gazebo is where they would have the piano <laughs> that um, someday I will play. I'm going to come down here and play the piano and record it on another date. Um, as I mentioned before, here are a couple churches. There is the uh, Episcopal Church, Trinity, oops, sorry, Holy Trinity. I better watch where I'm going. Okay. This is Holy Trinity Church. 
and next door to it is the Catholic Church. And they get along just peacefully, <laughs> very peacefully. And of course these are the uh, dorms for VCU, I believe that is uh, uh, Franklin uh, Thompson Hall, I believe. And of course back to the Ultra Theater. So of course right now everything's on lockdown, so they're not having any shows right now. Um, but when they do have shows, it's usually a packed audience. I went there, and that's where I, in this theater here, uh, in this theater here, uh, this is where I recorded We Talk in Circles. So yeah, that's where um, I did the video We Talk in Circles, uh, right inside the, and they say the acoustics in here are phenomenal, and I have to agree. Um, it's almost as good as Grand Ole Opry in Ryman Auditorium. Um, so I have a lot of memories tied to this park. It's where, where my parents, where my dad proposed to my mother. It's where I got ideas for songs. Um, and it just has a lot of fond memories for me. And it's just so beautiful to come out on a beautiful spring day and enjoy a picnic lunch and just stroll down memory lane. <laughs> so um, I really hope that y'all can come down to Monroe Park and experience it for yourself. It's really been, you know, fixed up wonderfully and it just goes to show you what creativity can do. You know, with that piano they put in the gazebo and the performing arts over there and the churches and the landscapes and the statues, it really creates a, a really a great place in the heart of the city of Richmond. It's almost like Richmond's Central Park. Yes, for New Yorkers have their Central Park, we have our Monroe Park. So, uh, you know, and it's just so peaceful come out here. Um, so, they've got wonderful picnic areas over here where you can have good picnic. Um, on a day like today, it's just great for a bike ride as well. Um, so anyway, folks, I hope you all enjoyed Monroe Park, and I'll be back soon to show you some more of the city. Stay tuned.